I'd like to say shalom, giving all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahshah. Also give a double honor to the elders of GMS and honor to the Akim and peace and blessings to you brothers and sisters that listen, hopeful elect and you know, do a quick lesson today to the Pavi how white how shall and you know the, the time is come man the harvest is right man which is Yahweh Shai making his second coming and um you know I get a get a I guess I get on that later this week more likely in the highways and hedges you know another false prophet stepped up from X Ministries you know I've seen that ridiculous video that he did on the Hebrew Israelites Craig Lewis you know show you he's a false prophet and a false teacher but he got the memo, man, just like T.D. Jakes says something about the Israelites indirectly. They got the memo, man, to come after us, man, because this truth is what is growing out of control. Man. See what I'm saying? And Esau, you know, his, his weak attempts is not going to work. man. But they're trying to paint us like we're the bad guys. And, um, you know, the world going to come up against us, man. But the faster, the quicker they go do that. Is a quicker Yahweh Shai come back, man. And um, but you also got the flip side, you got a lot of brothers and sisters that are coming into this knowledge, man. See what I'm saying? That's repenting, man. That's seeking Yahweh Shemel Shah, that's learning by Yahweh Shemel Shah, and that's due to the due, the due diligence of brothers starting with the apostles on down, pushing the word on the streets first, man. The main ministry is on the highways and hedges, period. And then we publish other videos online, man. Okay, along with the um the street teachings, man, and that's how this gospel spread, man. It's not about sitting in your own home comfortably, you know, like them. <laughs> I'm not even gonna say their name, man. You see what I'm saying? They do prophets um sitting in the comfort of your own home making videos, man. Now nah, you gotta go out there and make your body a living sacrifice, man, because that that's what we're commanded to do. And what did Yahweh Shai say? Let me get the first precept. Mark chapter 1, verse 15. Okay, Yahweh Shai is on his way, man. That's why you have all this controversy, all right? Mark chapter 1, verse 15, he said, and verse 14. Now, after that John was put into prison, Yahweh Shai came into Galilee preaching the gospel of the kingdom of the Most High, man. The gospel of the good news is what? The kingdom of the most high. Now, who is that for? For you pork-eating devils, man, that call yourselves preachers. It's for who? The Israelites, man. It said 15, and saying, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of the most high is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel, man. All right, and that's the spirit we coming in right now. Like, the time is fulfilled, man. This is the end, man. Okay? And the kingdom of the Most High is right around the corner. It's time to repent or to turn back from your sins and your transgressions and return back to Yahweh Bashim Yahshah as a Hebrew Israelite, man. Because that's the only people that is going to receive salvation because that is the only people that the Heavenly Father established a covenant with from the beginning, an everlasting covenant. Okay, from Abraham, Isaac to Jacob. Okay, the harvest is ripe, man. You see what I'm saying? Let me get the next precept. You see? You Jakes, man, you don't know what's going on, man. Okay. Mark chapter 4. Yahweh Shai is on his way, man. That's why, like I said, you got all this controversy. You jakes, you getting upset. Because like that guy said in uh, X Ministries, Craig Lewis, um, a lot of pastors are emailing him about this movement, the Hebrew Israelites. Because people leaving the churches and it's messing up your money. Okay, that witchcraft is, is losing its effect, man. Kala Yahweh Bashim Yahshah. Mark chapter 4, verse 29. This is what Yahweh Shai said. And he said, So this is the kingdom of the Most High, as if a man should cast a seed into the ground, and should sleep and rise day and night, and the seed should spring and grow up. He knoweth not how. For the earth bringeth forth fruit of herself, first the blade, then the air, and after the full corn in the air. 
But when the fruit is brought forth, immediately he putteth the sickle because the harvest is come. So soon as does what? This kingdom, that's why I did that video. The kingdom of heaven is like a grain of mustard seed. This, this parable is going directly with that. It started off as a seed, but now it's growing into what? A huge tree. And it attracting what? All the fowls of the air starting to lodge on it, man. It's pulling in everybody, man. Good and bad, man. Because the scripture says you can't do nothing against the truth, but only for it. So the truth is growing. And Yahweh Shai said immediately, after it starts to bring forth a lot of fruit, a lot of people start coming into this knowledge. What? He put it in the sickle because the harvest has come. The minute the, the elect is getting sealed, brothers and sisters waking up all across the globe. The Lord's going to put in the sickle, man. It's time to reap, man. Okay? And we're going to get a couple of more precepts to the Pavi HaBashim Yashah. We get the book of Revelation 14. Right? So you guys can't do nothing about it, man. ZDI repent. We HaBashim Yashah going to kill y'all, man. All right? Revelation 14, 14. He said, and I looked and behold a white cloud and upon the cloud one sat of the son of man having on his head a golden crown and as his hand a sharp sickle. Yahweh Shai, man. And another angel came out of the temple crowned with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud tr thrust in thy sickle and reap. So another angel came to Yahweh Shai and told him to thrust in the sickle and reap. And that's another thing you Christians go off on. That proves right there also that Yahweh and Yahweh Shai is not the same person. Because Yahweh Shai said it that no man knoweth the day or the hour. So the Most High sent the angel to Yahweh Shai. Now is the time to put your sickle in the earth, man. When he gonna come back with those clouds of those chariots, the UFOs, so-called UFOs. Thrust in thy sickle and reap for the time is to come for thee to reap for the harvest of the earth is ripe, man. Okay? And we're going to read on, though. And it says, And he sat on the cloud, thrusting a sickle on the earth, and the earth was reaped. So judgment, man. Judgment of Yahweh Shem Yahshah. And the last judgment, of course, is the missiles and Yahweh Shah making his second coming. Another angel came out of the temple, which is in heaven, he also having a sharp sickle. And another angel came out from the altar, which had power over fire, and cried with a loud cry to him that had a sharp sickle, saying, Thrust in thy sharp sickle and gather the clusters of the vine of the earth, for her grapes are truly ripe. Man, it's, it's, it's time. So that goes with Matthew, the 13th chapter, where he said, um, uh, let the tears and the wheat grow together. And um, he's going to gather the wheat, but he's going to burn the tears, man. You see, he also said Matthew, the 25th chapter, he's going to tell the elect. Go on his right hand and, and get the kingdom that was promised you from the beginning. And those on his left, they gonna what? They gonna perish, man. Starting with Esau, you other nations, and two thirds. Now this is the time we in now, man, because the fruit is growing. It's growing. And that's why this word is causing such a problem, and it's so much controversy and drama now, man. And so much the Christian church who never said anything about it. nothing that happens, man. They don't speak out against homosexuality. They don't speak out against racism. They don't speak out of none of the things that you jakes go through, man. But against us who's bringing out the truth, now they want to come up against us, man. Because like Yahweh Shai said, you are your father, the devil. Read on. It says, for how grapes are fully ripe. It's time, man. It's time, man. Okay. And the angel thrust in a sickle in the earth and gathered the vine of the earth and cast it into the great winepress of the wrath of the Most High, man. Yeah, them tears, man. Okay? The seed of the wicked one, man. And you wicked people, man. You gonna, what? You gonna taste the wrath of the Heavenly Father, man. <laughs> All right? Which ultimately is those nuclear missiles. So you guys was teaching false doctrines. You know, your spiritual tears, man. You jakes out there that sold out with your 501c3 charter. All right. But the most high's vine, of course, is going to be saved. And this is what the Heavenly Father told the prophet Ezra. You get the book of 2nd Ezra. Chapter 2. Let me see. Let's go. Let me stop 27. Second Ezra 227. 
So the Lord told Ezra. He said, Be not weary, for the day of trouble and heaviness cometh. We know that day of trouble is coming, and we always say is what? Jacob's trouble, Jeremiah the 30th chapter. When Esau, the so-called white man, is going to establish his new world order, which the foundation of the new world order is the microchip. And he also going to bring down the world's population. Okay, so he can have more control over its resources. And the primary target of the new world order are you Israelites. I'll show you that in the movie, The First Purge. They're going to come after you first, man. And primarily the elect, man. The brothers out there prophesying. And he's sending his lapdogs, which are these false preachers, man. And he's going to use his media. All right? So this is the day of trouble that's coming. But the Lord said, be not weary, man. Let me see when we read on down to... I'll read on down. It's probably 30 something. It said, be not weary. So we're not supposed to be weary. Okay. Lack strength or above all, lack faith. For when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep two thirds. And you guys is teaching lies, man. Y'all gonna weep in that time, man. Y'all doing the devil's bidding right now. Because he's telling you to come after us. But y'all gonna weep. He's called the devil for a reason, man. He's gonna turn around and bite y'all, man. Throw you in them concentration camps. And slaughter your congregation, right? And be, be and be sorrowful, but thou be merry and have abundance. We gonna have abundance in that time. The Most High gonna look after His men, man. And people gonna know who the men of the Lord are in that time, right? That's what Isaiah four and one and these other scriptures gonna start coming into play. But most of you Jake's gonna die, man. It says what? Verse twenty eight: The heathen shall envy thee. But they that shall they shall be able to do nothing against thee, save the Lord, because the most high gonna be with us. And if he's with you, who can be against you? My hand shall cover thee, so that thy children shall not see hell. Instruction. Alright, which we know his angels encamp around those that fam. Be joyful, O thou mother and thy children, for I will deliver thee, save the Lord. Yeah. Yahweh shy, man. Alright? Remember thy children that sleep, for it shall bring them out of the sides of the earth. And show mercy unto them, for I am merciful, saith the Lord Almighty. Embrace thy children until I come, and show mercy unto them, for my wells run over, and thy grace shall not fail. Yet the little ones, man. All right? You brothers, man. Okay? We are the children of the sons that the Most High gonna have mercy on, man. All right? I, Ezra, receive a charge of the Lord upon the Mount Arab, that I shall go unto Israel. Who Ezra was sent to? Who were the prophets sent to? Who was the Messiah sent to? All right. The prophets, the apostles, the Messiah, they were all sent to the Israelites point blank period. Okay. It's not based on color, color, color. It's based off that seed. man. And above all, it's based off the spirit. Because only an Israelite can accept this truth. Another nation cannot accept this knowledge. The Most High didn't show them favor or mercy. As a part of his mercy is learning this knowledge of this truth. Coming back to who you are. Alright, let me read on. It says, But when I came unto them, they set me at naught and despised the commandment of the Lord. You guys. Okay? Because like that idiot said, he see the camps out there, Craig Lewis. And we, why you never went up to them? Oh, they cursing people out this, that, and the third. The scripture says, cry loud, spare not, man. So you despise the commandment of the Lord. That's why you holding on to that Christianity. All right. And therefore I say unto you, O ye heathen, that hear and understand. Who is the heathen he talking about? You Israelites, man. That's following the ways of the heathen. That's following this white man Christianity. That's following the Arab Islam. That's following America. You're heathens. You're Gentiles in the eyes of the Heavenly Father, man. You're strangers because you're away from the covenant or the promise. All right. He said, Well, I therefore say unto you, O ye heathen, that hear and understand. Look for your shepherd. Who's the shepherd? Yahweh Shai. He shall give you everlasting rest, for he is nigh at hand. We just read that Revelation 14. Yahweh Shai is near, man. Right around the corner, man. The prophecies, everything is in place. Man. Like they said, the main thing we're looking for is just a microchip to become what? Mainstream. Because it's already here. The microchip is here already. Some companies, celebrities got them. Different parts of Europe got them. 
We're just waiting for it to become mainstream. It's already in your credit card. It's already in your smartphones. We're just waiting for it to become mainstream, man. Okay? And of course, mandatory. It says, look for your shepherd. He shall give you everlasting rest. Everlasting rest. Who don't want that, man? Forever, age after age after age, man. We're going to be living, man. As long as the Most High and His Son live, we're going to live, man. Which that's what? Forever. For He is nigh at hand that shall come in the end of the world. That time is now. Yahweh Shai is coming in this time, man. Scripture says Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. Esau is ruling. Okay, this is the end, man. Okay. Be ready to the reward of the kingdom for the everlasting light shall shine upon you forevermore. This is what we're waiting for. And this is what we got to do too. And you other brothers and sisters that's coming in. It says flee the shadow of this world, man. Forget this place, man. Don't be Lot's wife, man. Right? There's nothing left in this kingdom, man. This kingdom is just a cesspool of evil, man. Okay? And it's nothing but oppression for you Jakes. Nothing. Okay? And Esau wants you to remain in that, that dumb state. That's why he's trying to pu keep pushing on you that, that Christianity. But it's not going to work. Okay? Receive the joyfulness of your glory. I testify my Savior openly. And that's why we go out to the streets. Okay? Like you had them uh, two idiots on the Watchmen report, a guy and his wife, which, which could tell you a woman not supposed to be teaching in the churches. Oh, they get on the camps who go out on the street. You spoke, What did Ezra say? I testify my Savior openly. You're supposed to go out there openly on the streets. You have to be seen, man. All right. And we publish it on the Internet. Okay. You got to testify your how shy openly, man. It says, or receive the gift that is given to you, which is this, this, this whole, the fruits of the spirit. And also, um, the different offices, first Corinthians 12, apostles, prophets, teachers, helps. That's the gift that's given to brothers and be glad giving thanks unto him that led you to the heavenly kingdom. Okay. So through this knowledge, we're going to receive the kingdom of the most high arise and stand be behold the number of those that be sealed in the feast of the Lord. Which you know that feast, Yahweh Shai said, the bride, um, the feast of the Lord, or, or that wedding, okay? The bride and the bridegroom, man. All right? Yahweh Shai is joining us back to the Father. Which are departed from the shadow of the world and have received glorious garments of the Lord, man. So that's the knowledge, the garments is the entire knowledge, okay? But um, you guys who fell out the knowledge, so scripture says this. Okay, we gotta we gotta hold on to we want them garments, man. And we have the garments, which is the truth, and we gotta hold on to it. That's what scripture says this. I'm gonna read it. Probably two more precepts. Close this thing out, man. The harvest is ripe, man. The time has come. It's Revelation 16, 15. He said, Behold, I come as a thief, Yahweh Shai. Blessed is he that watcheth. So we supposed to be watching, praying, watching the news constantly looking out for prophecy and reporting it that's our job and keepeth his garments which is the truth okay lest he walk naked and they see his shame so guy who fell out the truth you're naked man, and your shame is seen it's just like adam when he was naked in the garden it don't mean he was physically naked it means what he sinned before the lord man his shame was seen okay so a guy who comes into this thing, like the script said, Matthew, the 22nd chapter, they, the, one of the servants, they said, where is your wedding garment? You see? And what happened? That servant got put to death. So that's a guy who forsook. He forsook his post. He did not flee the shadow of this world. He was in love with the world. Man. Guess what? His shame is seen. You see? And he's trying to hide himself, man. So we got to what? We got to keep our garments, man. And we got to keep watching, praying, and keep reporting. The true watchmen, okay? The true watchmen go out on the streets, man. Not staying in the, um, the, the um, being comfortable inside their home. The comfort of their home. Read this last precept, Revelation chapter 3. Mm, let me see, verse 3. Revelation 3 and 3. 
Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard, and hold fast and repent. See how Shai said to hold fast and repent, turn from your sins and your transgression. If thou therefore shalt not watch, I will come unto thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. That's why, man, we got to keep watching. All right. Read on down, though. It's a good chapter. This whole chapter is good. Verse 11. Behold, I come quickly. All right. He said the kingdom is at hand. Yahweh Shai said, behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Hold on to the knowledge. Hold on to your garments, man. All right. That no man take thy crown. All right. Even though we have brothers in this truth. You working out your own salvation, man. Let no man take thy crown, man. Hold on to it, man. Alright. Let me close it out with this. Um, verse 18. You said, um. You don't want to get that scripture or are we. Anyway, let me let me read uh, verse 18. Revelation chapter 3, verse 18. We close it out with that. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich and white raiment. That gold is us, Lord willing. And we being tried in the fire right now, which is all these persecutions and all this slander. And it's only going to get worse. That thou mayest be rich and white raiment. You're going to receive the kingdom and live with Yahweh Shai forever and more. And sit with him, man. Right, like he told the disciples, man, sitting upon on 12 thrones or the 144,000 are going to be the top leaders, okay, of the nation of Israel, man. White raiment, and thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. See, so we can't have that, man. Shame of thy nakedness, again, do not appear, okay? And anoint thy eyes with eye salve that thou mayest see. And we have that eye salve, which is the truth, man, because we've been blind for so long. Because it tells you in Deuteronomy 28, 28, that the Most High will smite us with madness and blindness. Okay? That's why you Israelites don't know who you are. The Most High blinded you, Isaiah the 6th chapter. You see? But we have that eye salve. We have the knowledge and the truth. And the Lord said to hold fast to that until I come, man. Because why? He's coming as a thief, man. So we got to keep watching, keep our garments, because why? The harvest is ripe. Okay? So with that, I'm going to say, Kala Yahabashimi Al Shah, Shalom.